My vegan daughter forbids us from eating meat at home. Story. Dad here. Old fart. Loves his daughter to pieces, but I'm struggling to see eye to eye with my teenager and wife on this one. We've always been a meat-eating family. We live in the rural Midwest and bacon for breakfast is pretty much a given. This year, my 14-year-old daughter decided to go vegan and I jumped onto her support team with enthusiasm. We learned how to substitute ingredients, cook new things and try new things. I adjusted our budget to include more expensive vegan substitutions for her, etc. None of this has been a problem for me. She saw me cook bacon in a pan and then I rinsed it out to load it in the dishwasher. She exploded in anger. Teen years, I'm not too fussed about the anger explosion. I know she doesn't mean it and said that that was her pan for vegan food. I was completely floored and said, kiddo, this here is a family pan, older than you. It's not your pan. She asked me to purchase her a pan that she can solely use for vegan food. I didn't want her to feel weird about food, so I said sure and ordered her a few colored ones that were only for the reason they're colored is so it helps me remember that I'm not to touch them unless I that wasn't good enough. Now, apparently the dishwasher is contaminated with animal products and the fridge has bacon grease fingers on it because I eat bacon and then touch the fridge. And she asked me and her mum to completely stop eating meat at home. I don't mean I literally touch the fridge with my greasy bacon hands because I wash my hands, but it's clearly enough that it upsets my daughter. Frankly, I'm on team hell no. Her mum is much more amenable and strongly wants me to consider taking our daughter up on the My wife's reasoning is that both our parents live close, so we can eat meat products there, and that she doesn't want our kid to feel uncomfortable in the kitchen. My daughter says she's fine with cheese and butter in the fridge, but it's specifically meat products that make her feel sick. Now, I'm sorry for her, but I feel like she just needs to adapt and live side by side, because I'm not gonna stop eating bacon in my own house. So, am I the one being unreasonable here? Response one not the a-hole. Get her a special sponge to wash her own dishes so she doesn't have to use the tainted dishwasher. Reply one. I was about to suggest something along those lines too and not the a-hole obviously. See how serious she is about it when she's getting her own set of plates, dish soap and sponge to keep her food free of meat residue. Reply two. Agree not the a-hole. She isn't paying bills, you are. She is being a brat. She needs an education on how dishwashers work. Tally up the cost of what she needs to be a self-sufficient vegan and add in the cost of the pans you brought her and make her pay for it if she insists on being unreasonable. Also, if you go to a restaurant, unless it's specifically vegan, I guarantee you they will not stop what they are doing to sterilize the kitchen to accommodate your daughter. If she has local hangout places that are food places, you need to let her know that they will likely contain eggs, dairy, and possibly meat products, which could include fryer grease. Ooh, some bread and pastry products equal butter. In case she eats that stuff, reply free. This is it. Don't let her become one of those vegans that give vegans a bad name. Teach her never to impose her diet, religion, or politics on others. If she goes to college with the attitude of everyone around her to bend over backwards because she's a vegan, it's gonna cause problems. Nip the entitled behavior in the bud. Enjoy your bacon. Reply four. The vegans I know who have their own pop do it mostly because sometimes roommates are messy jerks and they'd rather keep a clean set for themselves and scrub out the pan and fry burgers and still haven't washed. It I also know people with food allergies so severe they store their pots and pans and dish a sealed container, remove them only to cook, wash them immediately with their own sponge and return them to the container. For this person it was gluten and corn, but I've also seen people with egg and meat allergies do similar things. Cross contamination can be a serious issue. You cook with peanut oil, get a little on your fingers and then you touch the door of the fridge before washing your hands. You then touch the handle of the sink and if you're one of those just run water over them for five seconds hand washers, you'll probably also get some peanut oil on the dish towel. And unless you clean the sink incredibly well after you wash the pot, there's probably peanut oil there too. Your peanut allergic roommate is gonna have a bad time. Allergies of this severity aren't cop, but they make life really hard. Response two, as a teen who's trying to go vegetarian, your daughter is acting ridiculous. The dishwashing machine's tainted. What kind of bull is that? And she shouldn't be forcing you guys to go vegan in your own house if you don't want to. You've been very supportive as it is. Buying separate pans, you would not be the a-hole. And if she really wants to change your diet, she should try and give you info on how bad the meat and dairy industry is and how unhealthy large amounts of meat are for the modern human, yada yada. Then you guys make your own choices on what you want to eat. I'm just gonna take this time to say that, one, please, regardless of whether you're a meat eater, vegan, vegetarian, or whatever, 
please be civil in discussions. If you want to be pissed off over something, it really shouldn't be it. Two, I really didn't want to start any debates. Just take everything anyone, and I include myself, says with a grain of salt if they don't provide links to a credible source. Honestly, it's been nice just talking to people, getting varying opinions on this subject, but I'm starting to see a bit of hate flow through a, through a flewing up. Ply one. I was totally on board with the meat dairy industry sucks bandwagon until I talked to a registered dietitian. Learned a lot about deficiencies we have in our decreasing certain, and learned a lot about what happens with too many soy substitutes. In regard, in regards to the discussion about climate change and the meat industry, I encourage anyone to search for sustainable dish. She's a farmer and registered dietitian who is trying to encourage better meat that is actually good for the environment. I was really interested in seeing this different perspective. Also, not to the a-hole. The kid can disinfect the kitchen and make it vegan if she wants, but expecting the parents to do it, who are already being super supportive, is ridiculous. Reply to, yeah, seriously, I'm an omnivore. I eat healthy lean meats in moderation, and on occasion I will eat bacon, steaks, or some type of unhealthy meat very rarely. I had an aunt that I like to say that we lost to veganism and a pyramid scheme. But that's beside the point. She started out slow and I was very supportive. Now she's one of those terroristic vegans that will straight up walk into a place and up to a person eating meat and start screaming at them. Like, she's been arrested more than once hurting people because they eat meat. She's stolen family pets to set free like my lazy fat Balinese cat needs to run in the bushes next to the city canal. The hell? She also pointedly looks for people posting food on Instagram so she can tell them that she's entitled to not have to see that because she's vegan. I think being vegan is great for some and a very dangerous, slippery slope for others. OP is not the a-hole and he needs to help his daughter be healthy and not crazy. Response three, not the a-hole. And I say that as a vegan. Contamination is BS that militant vegans make up to make themselves feel superior to other vegans. And she has to understand that there is going to meet around. I get that it upsets her, really. Unless she only lives with vegans for the rest of her life, this is something she's going to have to get used to. A compromise might be to keep the meat in a drawer in the fridge rather than getting rid of it altogether. She's young and a new vegan, so the good news is that she will probably grow out of ease up on it. When you first go vegan, you're so excited and feel so enlightened, like no one ever figured this out before you. Then you get a little jaded and relax a bit. Try to tough it out and- But no, you do not need to stop making storing meat in your house just for her. Reply one. Bingo. This is a new vegan combined with a 18 year old. Anything you do short of going 100% animal product free in the home will eventually be an affront to her newfound religion. With enough time, she'll reach the, oh, I have to live in a world that isn't vegan and be okay with that stage. And OP's life will get easier. Reply two, agreed, not the a -hub. Other compromises would be to give her a dishpan, a sponge and her own set of plates that she can be responsible for that never comes in contact with meat. It's great that you are all supportive, but don't set her up to fail by teaching the world will accommodate her demand. Teach her how to respectfully disagree with others and how to stay true to yourself without forcing your beliefs on others. Reply three, the being a new vegan thing I feel is spot. I remember a thread on a vegan forum where a woman was furious with her husband for buying non-vegan bread. Like saying she was thinking about leaving him because he was so stupid for not checking the ingredients. She just couldn't deal with him. In. She had been a vegan for a week and a half. Sometimes people just go so full force into things in perspective. I'm sure I've been guilty of it too, though maybe not to the extreme. Reply four. The pan thing is legitimate if it's a cast iron pan or something else that gets seen with use. If it's a regular non-stick pan that goes through the dishwasher, then yes, it's beer. Response four. Not the a-hole. She's 14. There is no middle ground at 14. My condolences as it's going to be a long winter. Reply one, the 14 year old wants to seriously and be able to have feelings treated. The thing is she doesn't quite yet know what equally looks like or what people respecting your opinions look. And also at her age, those things aren't enough to validate her feelings. She needs her family to convert to typical teenage stuff. This will change with giving in would be doing a huge disservice to her. It won't reflect her experiences with people in the real world going forward. If, if dad would give in, what would happen when that reinforce of her behavior leads to her pulling the same crap on her college roommate or in her shared workspace kitchen. Dad is teaching his daughter an reply to God. 
I was a little squirt at that age, I knew exactly how the world worked and how it should work. It was blindingly obvious and I was surprised that no one else could see it. If someone disagreed with me, it wasn't because they looked at the evidence and came to a different conclusion because of different beliefs and perspectives. It was because they didn't understand the evidence like I did. If I could just get them to understand, they would obviously agree with me. I couldn't let them live in ignorance either. I had to continue until they understood like I did. As I said, I was a little squirt. Reply free. I remember being a 14 year old girl and it was rough lol. Puberty is hitting you like a truck and there are so many new and scary feelings floating around your head, it's like a haunted house. You want to get off Mr Bones wild ride, but you're locked in and it's on loop. You feel a bit more adulted, well you think you do lol, but everyone still treats you like a cute little baby doll. You want your feelings vindicated because you want to feel heard and included, especially when it comes to passionate being vegan. Your underdeveloped teenage breast telling you that yeah, it is that deep and it can get melodramatic real quick. I think dad is doing everything right and being very gracious about it too. He seems like a really good dad and I'm sure he can handle it. Response 5. Had a vegan roommate in the past. He used the fridge and the dishwasher just fine. Time for a real world lesson for her. She's not always going to live with people who share her food lifestyle. She's got to learn to compromise. There is no reason to inconvenience yourself and others. She's being a dramatic t compromise. She has her own cookware and her own meat free section of the fridge. Reply 1. This was my first thought too. OP is not the a-hole for not accommodating her more than she really has been. The fact that she continues to push is expected. She's a teenager with a new form of power trying to determine boundaries. This is a good opportunity to teach her what she can expect from others before she has to share space with roommates, co-workers, etc. Reply 2. Came here to say something along these lines. Been a vegetarian most of my life because my parents were, so I just never really got into eating meat. A huge part of having a dietary restriction of any kind is learning how to accommodate and be accommodated by. With people who don't have the same restrictions you do, by caving you'd be teaching her that her are more important than and correct compared to everyone else's being wrong and that everyone else needs to solve her problems for her or cater to her. If you caved, you would be the a-hole to both her and everyone else she ever meets and has different views then, which would likely be pretty much everyone. Reply 3. I had a vegan roommate too and it was never a problem. We had our own dishes, but they all went in the same sink and into the same dishwasher. Food was in the same fridge, we just had separate drawers and shelves. She wasn't a militant vegan and I was actually able to know a few vegan recipes that are pretty good. Thoughts? Response 6. Not the a-hole. You've already been being a support but at the end of the day, it's your house. You don't need to bend the knee to your daughter over this. Reply 1. This! They are already being way more supportive than I think most parents would be by giving her a special set of pans and adjusting the food budget to accommodate her new vegan wants needs. I think she needs a little reminder that she is not the head of the house. She is not the one paying the bill and she needs to call it with her demands. Reply 2. Right? Honestly, I can't believe how supportive OP and his wife are being. I wish I had been blessed with such thoughtful for patient parents growing up. Did I mention that OP bought his daughter her own pans? What a champ! Wow. Response 7. Not the a-hole, obviously. You've been supportive of her new diet choice and have been very accommodating by getting her pans to use for vegan. She can't expect you to change your whole lifestyle to cater to Meat needs to be kept in the fridge. And if the dishwasher is tainted, then maybe she should try washing a dish by hand. Gasp. Reply 1. On the other hand, if all he is doing is rinsing the bacon in the dishwasher, then that fat and oil can build up and coat the filter, and it is basically impossible to wash off. My family dishwasher that I grew up with got ruined that way, and any time it's used today it leaves an extremely thin film of greasy, disgust, smelly film on every time. I've tried cleaning that dishwasher in every possible way with every product at least five times, but nothing works, so my mum has been just hand washing everything for years. And from a more optimistic angle, bacon is terrible for everyone and it really doesn't taste that good. I stopped eating it a decade ago and I don't miss it. Sometimes I get bacon on a burger when I eat out, but it really has no appeal anymore. I was really against stopping at the start too. At the time I thought bacon was amazing, but being grease free, not to mention the whole pollution angle or animal cruelty, 
or how disgusting factory farming is. I've seen a lot of pig corpses, gas filled wounds, and it just gushes out all over the floor. Don't forget how pig farms seriously mess up the local environment, since they can seem to freely dump all the feces and corpses into the local streams, rivers. Also how unethical factory farms are basically ruining the livelihood of farmers who now have to rent the facility on their own land. Basically, everything about farming. I still eat meat occasionally, but I actively try to introduce more veg options. I made an amazing stir fry last week. Example. Reply 2. I see your point here and I can't necessarily refute anything based on bacon being horrible or that it may be hard to clean. Or even your opinion that you don't think it tastes great, which I disagree with. I don't think any of those are important in this situation. A 14 year old is trying to call the shots and control the family fridge dishwasher. She needs to be told no and that people won't accommodate her in life and she has to work through something. Response 8. You know the answer. I'm assuming this is you are accommodating despite it being irrational. It's now being pushed to a new level of irrational. Explain to your daughter that you're trying to be as accommodating as possible, but this is too far for you and there are no grounds for further arguing because you don't have the same perspective as her. She might be mad at you, but when she has her own living space and gets to make the rules, she might understand why you don't want to be forced to go in. Reply 1. If she thinks you're bad, just wait until she has roommates in college. Reply 2. I had a vegan roommate in college, a nice guy from Italy. I also had a girlfriend who was a fashion major and who made a dress from sliced salami at my house since she only had a small dorm sized fridge. I learned many interesting Italian expressions. He was appalled, but also there was a near naked model in the living room getting a meat dressed. His feelings on the subject were complex and extensive. He ended up dating the model for a year or so. She became a vegan too. Reply 3. To be honest, she might not make it to college with- She definitely can, but at that age, you're just figuring so much out about yourself all at once and it just goes on for years. It could be something that sticks, she's better for it, or by college, she could be off. But look at it, a thing that shaped her- Either way, I liked the comment that said dad is in for a long winter. Response 9. Not the a-hole. Many vegans cohabitate successfully. Your daughter is pushing the line here and being unreasonable. You have gone out of your way to support her dietary. I'm assuming that she uses her own pans, she's by hand herself, rather than using contaminated dishwater. It is time for her to learn how to coexist who don't think exactly I think your wife is 100% wrong here and is trying to take the easy way to avoid an angsty teenager being difficult. This is a fantastic learning experience for your daughter in tolerance and compromise. Reply 1. My wife is vegetarian, but we keep separate. The colour-coded cutting mats and knife handles are great. Reply 2. My parents do exactly what the wife is doing here. They charge her phone in the car instead of charging theirs. They drive her all around the country for swimming, which not only is a pain in the ass for them, they also pay for her to get in. Response 10. Not the a-hole. But this actually sounds really complicated. Teenage girls can have very contentious relationships with food, and they can express themselves in a lot of ways. I think you need to get more information going forward. She might just be a teen pushing limits and seeing what she can control. She might also genuinely be struggling with ideas about cleanliness as it relates to food. Reply 1. I second that. 14 is a very common age for teen habits. I won't worry too much about it right now. But if the anxiety and fear of contamination doesn't ease up or get worse, please mention it to her doctor. Reply 2. I was also coming here to say this. Glad I'm not the only one. OP is not the a-hole, but please consider being very, very gentle with your daughter and stay on watch for other signs of this is a critical age for sordid Eve again. You don't want to look back on this fight from three years when she's down to 70 anorexia, wishing you had gotten her some therapy. I'm not trying to be alarmist, but I've worked with and this contamination-based fear is a pretty common way for it to show up at the please, please consider getting and at a minimum, raise the her pediatric. Reply three. This fear of contamination could be a red flag for orthorexia, extreme obsession with eating healthy, pure, clean foods. Also, the OP should know that veganism can sometimes be a cover for orthorexia. This doesn't mean anything. Most vegans aren't orthorexic. And for now, it sounds like she's not restricting her food choices to an unhealthy degree. So maybe there's nothing to Maybe she's just going through her new vegan phase. But it's definitely something worth keeping an eye out, especially at that age. Response 11. Not the a-hole. This is about to control. She's trying to control your actions that don't actually at her. It's a sneaky way to rebel and you have been more than a- Tell her she's not allowed to make choices for other people. Reply 1. Came to say this, yes. Thinking back to me as a teenage girl, I would do anything I could to have control and push boundaries. This sounds exactly like that. She needs a reminder. You pay for the house, stove, pans that you have been so grateful to purchase just for her to use. 
vegan food she is eating, etc. It will help her to coexist when she gets into the real world and has roommates, co-workers and relationships that don't have the same beliefs as her. Reply 2 Rebelling is an under a lot of and it's probably healthy to do it at least a little. Even if you go to a good school and don't get bullied and your parents are good, you have a lot of adults telling you to go and what to chase. But the goal should be personal autonomy, not pushing others around. You get to shave your head, you don't get to tell me I can't, you can give me your honest opinion if I ask, if it would suit me. You get to read books other people disapprove of. I get to read things you don't like. You get to decide what you subject to budget constraints and such, but so do other people. You can't unilateral what is at allowed in a shared fridge. If you have been or feel you have been down to it can feel really good to have a little bit of power but that doesn't mean turning around restrict others autonomy becomes remotely the choice. Unless something's gone really wrong, she'll gain more freedom as she gets older and will get used to dealing with it. Response 12. No a hop. I've been a vegetarian for over a decade. Your daughter is being a bit ridiculous but I wouldn't call her an a hop. Just naive or uninformed. Washing areas like sinks, dishwashers, wa can't be contaminated that way. It's understandable to wash her stuff separately, if hand washed, but she's 14 and can do that herself. You have made your response 13. Speaking as a vegan for 20 plus years, who has never lived with anyone else vegan, when you first start any major lifestyle change, veganism included, there is an early period where you are extremely enthusiastic. Combining this with the teenage propensity for taking things extreme, this attitude from your daughter is perfectly normal. As to what you should do, she has her own vegan cookware. She also has access to the sink where she can hand wash anything she doesn't want contaminated by the dishwasher. You can also offer her a shelf in the refrigerator that is to be kept pure. It's interesting that she doesn't i.e. trying to argue why you should want to be vegan, just that you are grossing her out. If you wanted, you could offer to have one night a week where she cooks the family dinner and can make it vegan. Who knows, you might end up liking some of it, so I'm gonna say there aren't any a-holes in this st story. Reply 1 I agree with that, as in the daughter is not an a-hole. The girl is 14, she's bound to have bad days and handle some of them poorly. She's obviously being a little neurotic over something that causes her significant disgust. People eat dogs in other parts of the world, but I bet you most Americans would get a little upset if someone brought one over and butchered it in their kitchen, even if they did it in a sanitary way. I'm not saying the dad should go that far out of his way to accommodate her, just that they should try to understand where she's coming from. Treat it like a mild phobia and try to overcome it. Explain that it's not fair for her to impose her dietary restriction on the family kitchen and that if you clean things correctly there shouldn't be a problem and that dishwashers are pretty damn good at cleaning themselves along with the dishes. Also I'm a big fan of having a 10 times 12 wooden cutting board that is vegan and doesn't get dish- Reply to I think the whole perception of the daughter being an a-hole, she doesn't buy anything for herself and expecting the whole family to accommodate her. Not necessarily an a-hole for having a bad day and snapping, only an a-hole child insists a pan not be eaten from moat. The dishwasher be cleaned from meat products and then insists that the parents order the way she has chosen, especially when she's not paying for anything. Response 14. Not the a-hole. However, having experienced I am worried by her reaction to the contaminated fridge and meat being near her food physically and meat being near her sick. The gradual restriction more and more over time and the obsession over her food being clean and uncontaminated sends up some red flags for vegetarianism and veganism are often used by teens to mask an eating disorder as they give ready guidelines for restricting food. Teens may not be deliberately hiding it or even realise they have an ED, just to clarify. While it's not an officially recognized thing. Orthorexia is a term you might- I don't say this to you, but to advise you on the lookout, check in about mental health and insecurity. As someone who's been there and has watched family members go through the thing, this could also be being for and passionate, but just in case.